Are you struggling to make your funnel work? Hey, what's going on? Nick Tsai here. So today, I want to share with you why your funnel isn't working and how you can do to fix that. So I remember when I first get started, um, because it's like 10 years ago, I didn't know anything about funnels, about like um, the pages, about click funnels, because there's no that software by then. So I learned how to do funnel manually. So all we do was uh, we create an opt-in page and we send out emails and we give them a free report. So um, that's all I learned. Actually, I spent lots of money to learn this. I didn't, I, I, I don't know why, but yeah, then so I spent lots of money to learn this because I want financial freedom. I said, that's it. If I can make this thing work, I will be financially free. So I was so excited, right? I spent two a month to build all the things. So after all the things were built, I was like, yeah, that's it. That's drive traffic. So I spent like $100 to drive traffic. And by then, traffic is cheap. So you can get lots of leads with $100, right? So I was like, that's it. I, I have already get, get everything down and I'm promoting the best selling offer on ClickBank by then. So I said, yeah, that's it. I will make money with that. So, so after I sent all the traffic to the funnel, I said, yeah, let's wait. So I, I was like refreshing um, the state on my ClickBank dashboard and refreshing, 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 nothing happens. Right? I was like, wait, I think I do everything right. So I, I go back to check the page. Yeah, it's working. Check the email. Yeah, it's they are, they are sending. Check the report. Yeah, I think it's good. So I keep it on refreshing, nothing, nothing happens. So I was like, yeah, maybe we just wait for four more days, right? To see how those follow-up works. Two days later, nothing happens. Three days later, nothing happens. So I was like, wait. So I was keep on checking the state all the time. It's like you keep on refreshing, 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 refreshing. It's it's kind of frustrating to see like you spend money, you build all the things, but nothing works, right? So I was like, I think those things are scam. I got scammed. So 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 I was really angry. I kind of like want to argue with the the guru or the the, the teacher who teach me uh, the funnel. But one of my friend, he is also a funnel builder. He also a, a marketer. So he knows this situation. So say, hey, let me check. How did you do that? So he checked the offer. So yeah, that one is. Clickbank's like best-selling offers. So I think um their copy is right, right, and I think um your follow-up is congruent with the copy. So I think it's okay. So your page is working, sure. Your report is working. How about that? Check your list. So we we just get all the list of email and we copy some of them and paste to Google, and we found. Most of them are from countries they don't even have a credit card. So if you want to buy from the bank, you need a credit card, right? So, so that's the ah moment for me. That's ah, oh, ah. Oh. So what I found is, no matter how good your offer, your funnel is, if you don't get two other things right it's really hard for you to convert those traffic. So today, I'm going to share for you how you can uh, make your funnel work. So um, when I was learning like um, copywriting, um, the, the legendary like um, marketer I, I was following was uh, Gary Halper. So when people reach out to Gary and say, hey, why you can always write so many successful copy? He told them that, you know what? The secret of writing copy isn't about the copy. People are like, what? What are you talking about? You are the most important copywriting in the world. He said, yeah. 
but the key of copying is actually the two other things. So he talked about three major things. So if you want to make your funnel work, there are three most important parts. The first one is process. So that's where you will funnel, you will copy locate it, right? So if you don't have a process, sometimes it's really hard for you to convert them. But even though you get all the things right, process is only accountable for 20% of your success. So what are the other 80%? He said, yeah, the, another 40 is audience. So let's say that you want to sell a Ferrari. And yeah, that's an amazing offer, right? And you have the best sales salesperson in the world to reach out to a group of a group of audience to sell the Ferrari. But what if those people they cannot afford Ferrari? So yeah, you get the best selling process. You get the best selling product, but you have the wrong audience. There's no way for you to work. Or what if you have they can afford it, right? They just don't want it. And there's no way for you to sell to them as well, right? Another one is the offer. So the offer is like, okay, they can afford it, but your offer was so bad. There are so many other competitors, they're offering something better. Then it's really hard to convert them as well. So you want to think about how you can really get these three parts. So Gary even told them that if you have a great audience, like a hungry audience who wants your things so eagerly, right? Or you have a great offer and you got listing two things ma match, you don't really need a great sales copy. So that's what I learned from them. So before you checking your funnel, I think the best thing you can do is you have to check your offer. Is that a irresistible offer? Or is your audience a hungry buyer? So yeah, so that's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you soon in the next video.